Hello everyone, it is HypixelBing here today and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be, um, what are we going to be doing? I forgot. Um, oh yeah, we're getting the spider for Paula here, if we can find it, yep. So these are materials that we need, we already have the poison, we already have these, we need the food, we already have a spawner, and we need 15 webs. So obviously this is going to be kind of boring, um, you know, collecting webs, but... Um, oh wait, what? Tentacle magic? Where did we get that? That's actually really strong. I'm not going to use it yet, but... Because I don't think we've unlocked the recipe. Which means that this is the only one that we have. Right? Angelic swords, arrows, teleport arrows, spite... Yeah, see, ten from Dragon Slayer. Alright. So you have to complete the quest called Dragon Slayer in order to unlock that. But right now I'm going to go and collect some food. Because we need that, I'm going to throw out all of these. Okay, not all of them right now, but I don't need them. Anyway, let's um, let's go hunt for animals. Come on, there were like a billion of them before. There's just random spawners here. That I probably placed, to be honest. Alright. Um, I might start making these a bit shorter, I'm not sure. They do seem pretty long sometimes. The one... One of them was like 40 minutes, so that's um that's a lot of time. Oh, there's a horse. He's gonna give me horse skin though. That's not what I want, but whatever. We'll get him. Oh, he just died in one hit. All right. Oh, he didn't give us horse skin. Cool. All right. Here's a cow. So we need how much food? 20. And I think I have some. So. Oh no, I don't. I ran out. All right. So we're we're actually gonna need to. Oh, okay. Oh, he, the cows give a bunch. Neat. All right. Horse might give me horse skin, but we need that for a later quest anyway. Making uh, goblin armor. That's a quest that we have to do later on. So, you know, I'll save it if I get it. Apparently the cows give a bunch, so we're going to kill as many of those as possible. Yeah, that one just gave like three or something. Let's see, we have seven now. Let's see how much this one gives us. Oh, this is a bull. This is not a cow. This is... Don't waste my sword durability. How much did that have? Two? Okay, that's not bad. Obviously, it's better than one, so... The sheep isn't going to give much, but it's what I have. Don't want to waste my sword durability too much. Yep, we got sheep skin. Not a surprise, honestly. You should die in three hits. Barely, but you did. Oh, pigs give slightly more as well. That's good to know. Oh, we should be there in pretty decent time. It won't take that long. Also, some news on Minecraft. I have started, um, there's a web. I have started normal clicking again, at least in most games. Maybe not in duels, but in pretty much any other game. Oh, I don't have room in my inventory. Let's just throw out, oh no, get away. I'm just gonna throw out another magic orb. And just collect all the strings. I mean, we're, we're in this cave, so we might as well collect the strings while we're here. There's, there's plenty of them to farm. I, I hope. Get out of here. Spider, I will destroy you with powerful weapons. Alright, so we have the poison, we have the spider fangs. This is probably going to be the most annoying one, but it won't take that long, honestly. We don't have that much left to go. But we'll probably go back out and get some meat. This actually is going much quicker than I expected. I do want to get an antique spawner or something that I don't really care about, like a rabbit or something, because I don't want to use up, like, the source of life or something really OP that took me five hours to get. I just don't want to do that. Do we have nine now? No, we have ten. Cool. All right. Might as well go out now. We'll get those later. Oh, it's nighttime. That means there's going to be monsters. Does this thing drop it? I don't think it does. Oh, he's at zero health, but he's still alive. Yes, it does. It also drops horse skin. I'm actually going to collect that because it seems pretty useful. All right. Die. Like I said, we need a bunch of horse skin for a quest later. And I'm telling you, whenever you're looking for the horses, they don't show up. But whenever you don't need specifically horses, bam, there's horses all around the field. Like, of course. Knowing my luck. This should give us a little bit extra. The piggy. It's not a pig, it's a piggy. Alright. Yep, one more. Let's kill the sheep. 
And then our quest will be complete. Let's not waste our sword durability. And there we go. All right, now we just need the webs. Just need the webs. And there should be a bunch here because I've never seen this part of the cave before. Well, never mind, it's not even a cave. It's just a little hole. All right, three more webs. That's it. We're basically done. We're basically done. Wow, this actually took like no time. Although then again, I do have to collect that uh that spawner of something. So again, I don't want to use up anything. That's a black werewolf. Leave me alone. Hmm. What's a good spawner? Well, not a good one, but like a good one to collect because it doesn't mean anything. How about you, Miss Deer? How long is it going to take? Not that long at all. Thank you very much. Now let's just go and call. Oh no, get away from me, T Rex. T Rexes have been spawning a lot lately. Slightly annoying, but whatever. Alright. I also want to get a pet spider for myself and a snowman. Apparently, snowmen are really overpowered. I'm told by the comment section. Like, even at level 1, they can kill, like, the Aragog and can kill a T Rex at, easily at, like, level 10. So. Yeah, definitely going to be collecting myself one of those, considering you can buy the pet in the shop for 1,500 diamonds, and yet the materials that you use to build it, you can buy for, like, six, because all you need is, like, snow, a bucket, and some sticks, yet the pet itself costs 1,500? What is that? Okay, I'm going to run out. No, I'm not. Like, that is such a scam. All right. Do we have everything? Yes, we do. All right. Let me see if I can remember how to make this, so... There's this. We got that. We got this. I think we only need 10, but whatever. One of these, one of these. And 10 of this, and 10 of this. Got it. All right. That did not take very long. I expected it to take longer. See if we can find Paula. Paula. Yes, hello. What? You brought me a pet spider? This little critter is so adorable. Sniff? Okay, that's weird. I'll name him Exordi Jr. Thank you so much. Hey, Thank you again for bringing this guy to me. When I play with him, I will always think of you. That sounds really wrong, but alright. These recent events remind me. There was a monster, Exorax, I don't even know, and I could, that I could never defeat. I should have taken that as a sign we were not strong enough to, to fight the Dragon Lord. You and your dragon must defeat Rex, a dinosaur as a test. Jeez. Careful of the deadly bite and huge feet. will squash you like a bug. Alright. Finally, the 1v1 that needed to happen. The T-Rex has spawned so many times and annoyed me so many times. Now it's time for me to get revenge. Alright. Alright, guys. We're gonna have to gear our dragon up with actual health. Can't even fit in here anymore. There you go. You can fit in the air. Good enough. Alright, we're gonna have to gear up our dragon with some HP. Eventually he'll get to full. I'm not, I'm not like gonna heal him with anything because that would be annoying. Let's see what ooh, we can use our new tentacle magic, but we're gonna need more long swords. I can foresee that being a pro problem, not having enough of that. So I'm gonna get this. I think this will be enough coal to smelt this. But yeah, guys, we're just gonna get some more swords get a bunch of healing potions and really just prepare for this intense 1v1 also get some food probably just stuff like that but anyway yeah guys i'm gonna gear up my guys and i will be back when we are ready for the 1v1 all right guys we are back and we are ready to take on the the T-Rex, obviously. Alright. Where is he? Where is he, man? I want to see it. We have some spawners that I'm going to use, that I'm going to make use of. We just have to find a T-Rex. It'll spawn eventually. They always do. Werewolf, get away. I need as much health as possible. We're wearing the Aragog eye, which means we have more mana than usual, so we can just, like, fly around him and get cheeky hits i guess i don't know we have a bunch of healing potions as well so that is also cool let's just find this guy and then hopefully a battle will happen 
Hello? Sir? Where is he? Okay, come on. Like, he spawns all the time and annoys me. But now he doesn't spawn? Come on. Come on, man. Alright. Oh, no. All we have to do... Yes, there he is. Get a hit. Oh, we failed. Alright. Go. Alright, here we go. We're going in. Dragon, you got this. Ah! Ah! We're getting him! Does my dragon have health? My dragon does have health. Oh, gotta eat. Gotta eat, gotta eat. We're getting him! We're actually getting him! No, my dragon is dying! Oh, we're getting him! Oh, no, I died. Mm. My dragon's dealing most of the damage, unfortunately. Mm. No, I can't risk my dragon's life. Wait, but he's almost dead. You can be done here. He's done. Whoa. XD. 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 Come here. Come here. Eat. Health. You have health. You have food. Oh, yes. That was insane. We didn't even need these guys. You guys were useless. Yo, we did it, boys. All right, we completed this. What do we get for it? I think we get the the soul for it. Yeah, we get the crafting recipe for it. All right, let's just collect these spawners. They're actually pretty useful. Well, I mean, they weren't useful this time at all, but whatever. <laughs> they weren't useful at all this time, but that's okay. Um... Let's go see what else Paula wants us to do. I think that's about it. And then we get to go back to the wizard and complete our main quests. Although Paula might have us craft a saddle, which I'm hoping for because then I'll be able to ride my dragon. Hype. All right. Well, we got our we got our spawners. So that's good. That's good. We just have to find Paula. Are you over here? No, you were before. Oh, there you are. Get over here. Come here, man. Oh, wait. We should probably take off these Aragog guys. There we go. Wasn't even hard. All right. Come here. Unbelievable. Rex is vanquished, and it's all thanks to you. Your dragon seems happy the battle's over. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm impressed with the progress you and your dragon have made. I think it's time for you to embark on your first quest to defeat the dragon lord. The wizard will tell you more. Good luck. I will never forget you. Alright. Alright, I think I know what we're supposed to do here. First of all, I'm just going to increase my health. Alright, didn't do anything, but I think I know what we're going to do here. I think we're going to start fighting dragons, which those will come for some pretty intense fights, actually. Especially if we can ride our own dragon. That will be mm, incredible. But the wizard is actually going to be pretty hard to find right now. So I'm just going to go find him. And I will be right back once I have. There he is. Hi, buddy. Give me that. Welcome back. And my, look how your dragon has grown. Your skills are improving, Dragon Rider, but there is still much to learn. To defeat the Dragon Lord, you must defeat and capture yep, all three of his dragons. Your first dragon is the Ice Dragon. You will need armor to protect yourself from his freezing breath. Talk to the warrior Aaron about making armor. I don't want to. Let's just say he's not the most optimistic individual. All right. We used to have a spawner for him, but we don't anymore. I'm going to go talk to him. I don't know how many quests I'll do right now, but yeah, I'll definitely talk to him and just see what we can do. Because, you know, if we can't do anything, then that's a fat, fat, fat rip. All right. Where's this guy? Aaron. Come on, you're never that difficult to find. Come on, man. Aaron. Aaron, come here, man. I need to, like... Yes, there you are. Hello. Why are you talking to me? Is there something wrong? Do you have bad news? Oh, I see. Armor? Okay. We're all doomed. Doomed. The dragon lord is going to... Yeah, okay. It's sad, I know. I should hide in a cave. But there are spiders... Yeah, okay. You're definitely a warrior. Spiders are the deadliest predators in the animal kingdom. Yep, okay. There's a super scary spider called Aragog who prowls near here. I'm so scared of him, I can't work. If you want to learn how to make armor, you have to defeat the Aragog first. Well, this is going to be easy. Is it safe? Alright, well, whatever. This is going to be, like, the quickest and easiest quest I think I've ever done in my entire life. So, this would have been useful to know once we were back doing our grinding session. But for now, let's just find the spawner. Or the spawner chest. That's not it. 
this is it. There we go. Put these back. No, that's not Aragog. That's Aragog. All right. Let's just stab the Aragog one last time. Because I don't think I'm going to use him for grinding anymore, considering just how little he affects my dragon. Is it a he? Eh, who knows? Who cares, honestly? I don't. All right. Let's just go down into this cave. I don't know if this episode has been long or not. I honestly couldn't tell you, but whatever. Dragon, get ready for some PvP. Oh, too bad you didn't get the experience from that T-Rex. That would have been really overpowered for your level. And now you're just going to obliterate this kid in like two seconds. Good. Oh, he lives. All right. And kill him. Stab him. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Wait, he hasn't... The Aragog didn't hit him once. What a legend. All right. Well, anyway, let's just break this spawner, and then we'll go back to Aaron and be like, yep, we finished that quest in, like, less than five minutes, because, yeah, that's just how easy it was. All right. There we go. I'm going to go up here now. We're going to go over to Aaron. Where are you? There you are. Thank goodness that nasty thing is gone. So it's safe to come out and craft some armor? I guess as long as the zombie spiders aren't a thing. No, they're not. Really impressed how you end in Haragog. Here's some recipes how to craft harder than you. I'm all out of raw materials. You have to craft the arm yourself using a furnace. All right. Say that warriors are not so much brave as they are very skilled at being terrified. I am an expert at that. Besides, warriors get the best armor, which provides the best protection. Stay safe. That's my motto. You'll have to craft the armor yourself. Yeah, I know. All right. So basically, we just need to collect this armor, and it's pretty bad armor, but whatever. Let's just look at the... um. The recipes. All right, yeah, so we're going to need some iron. We have plenty of that. We'll need to collect some deer skin, though. So we'll work on that next episode. I don't know if this has been really long or really short, but whatever. It's good enough. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Block Story. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys with the next episode of Block Story. Peace.